Coverage you can count on continues with Gina Gleros. School is officially out for summer. Kids can still learn while they aren't in the classroom. And many don't know about how to save money for the future. But we have Dennis Tretnik here. He's going to solve these problems for our area <laughs> kids from Star Financial Bank. Dennis, we want to know because this is something kids know, okay, maybe I should save, but you know, how do you do that? How do you convince a kid to save and the benefits of saving? Sure, well, thank you for having me this morning. And I think the thing that's most important to start early on as soon as they can and understand that they can count and add money is to let kids know exactly what the money is, show them what a penny is, what a dollar is, why it's important to have them. Before they can even save money, they have to know what it is. And the sooner they can do that, the better. Now, when kids, these kids start working, do you still recommend an allowance? At, at what time frame would you, would you cut that off, do you think? Kind of hard to say an allowance. I have kids that are six and eight. So our kids know that getting an allowance means that they're earning it. They have to do something to get the money. And I think that's the thing that's the most important to stress to kids. Now, if kids are working and are looking to save money, it's a little bit different because then they're kind of thinking like perhaps you and I are in terms of we need to meet necessities first. So in our savings is a little bit different. We're looking to make sure we meet the necessities first and then start to plan for things that we want to do. If they start to go out, they want to go out with their friends, they want to go out for dinner, they're planning vacations, to understand that there are certain things that have to be taken care of first before they can start to do that. So I had actually some friends in high school, we all had jobs, but they were getting allowances at the same time. Would you recommend that? Hard to say. It depends on the individual situation. Uh, I think the whole idea of either getting an allowance or having the job, the idea of the responsibility, uh, whether there's money at home for that or not, is important. Do you offer anything for kids or teens? I remember when I was growing up, the neighborhood bank had a special kid savings account that I could save up for. I had my little passbook, and that was exciting as a kid to have <laughs> sure. that. Can they still do that today? Yes, they can. And, and our bank has savings accounts for, for children. And one of the great things to introduce your kids is to bring them into the bank. Let them know that here's where money goes and it sits here for a reason. Why does it sit there? And hopefully that spawns questions for them uh, and they start to ask. And it's a great way because mom and dad are typically the folks that are providing the financial literacy to the children. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of that in the school system, mm -hmm. so that training has to come at home. Mm -hmm. I like that you have those accounts, but please do not tell me that the kids are getting better interest rates than us adults. <laughs> I, I, I don't think that's the case. Okay, good. So I have to ask, other than the, the what did you? The savings the account. The savings, the okay. Yeah. Yes. Do you, I remember, my what I was like when I was a teenager I know we want to be independent we earn the money we want to spend it how else do you recommend that we help our kids budget what they make well I, I think the whole idea of budgeting is great because the kids have to know again about the necessities first and again those are lessons that really have to come at home and really making sure the kids can write down their goals much like we do with our financial goals to understand that there's a certain amount of money that they need to put aside to do everything else on top of everything that has to be covered. I know a lot of kids will have car payments and possibly insurance that go with that and that may be the only real necessity that they have but they have to understand that a lot of them are on their way to college and they're going to want to start to save for that and they need to balance that mm -hmm. along with the certain things that they want to do out there with their friends. Sure. As kids get older, becoming teenagers or becoming uh, older teenagers heading off to college, when do you see the transition happen into debit cards or getting the first credit card? Do you have any guidance there? A lot of times what will happen, we usually don't see a lot of the kids, and there's a certain age cutoff of 18 usually to get the credit cards. Uh, that's usually when you see the transition. And the whole idea of the literacy at that point is understanding saving money versus debt because there's a cost to have debt mm -hmm. and when kids start to get into credit cards the idea then of making sure you're tracking what your purchases are and making sure you're staying in with within what you can actually pay back uh, is very important. Dennis appreciate you being here with us today. Thank you both. And more news and weather when we come back.